doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Uh, just wondering, as you get ready for the SEC tournament, uh, what has the coach and staff, Coach White and them, uh, have they shared anything with you guys about, you know, hey, crazier things have happened. There was that tornado tournament in 08. Georgia wins it all. You know, uh, other teams that have come and that, that kind of um, rejuvenated themselves in the tournament. Have you, have you been uh, schooled in some of that history? And uh, is it something you guys will use this week? Uh, yeah, definitely. He's been uh, mentioning, like, throughout practice, you know, like, kind of saying, like, it's a new season, you know, uh, anything can happen in the tournaments. Um, basically just saying we're zero on zero now, like a new a new slate. Thank you. I just wanted to know what the impact of being on break is right now. Is the focus any different, just not having school or classes right now? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's just main one main focus now is just basketball. Uh, you know, school can be a distraction sometimes because, uh, you know, you got to focus on both. But since we, uh, we're we not on – I mean, since we are on break right now, you know, it definitely helps. Next we'll go to Anthony Dasher and then Mark Weiser. Hey, Juice, good to see you today. Um, considering you, you know the team has dropped five five straight games, what is the key going to going to be for shutting out and you know forgetting those games to give you all the best chance uh, to be successful starting tomorrow night? Uh, you know, just bringing it all together. I feel like um, throughout some games we showed um, spurts of you know good basketball, and I feel like we need to just glue it all together and play all forty minutes and play hard, definitely, and follow the game plan as well. Hey, Jason, I want to ask you, um, you know, you transferred from uh, Alabama to Georgia and you were here um, as Coach White tried to build this thing. I'm curious as you guys, uh, you know, try to make a run here in the postseason, uh, if you peek ahead a little bit with Mardrez and Jalen and Braylon leaving, um, you know, what, what kind of building blocks do you guys have as a program to to kind of take the next step uh, moving forward? I'm sorry, can you ask that question again? I was asking uh, with the guys you have on this roster now, knowing that some of the seniors are going to be leaving kind of what are some of the, the building blocks uh, that can help take the program, uh, you know, continuing to get better. Uh, really, you know, it's like their last dance, you know, their last go run. So like we got a little bit more extra fuel for them and uh, some more fuel for them. So, you know, like I feel like it brings more energy and like more fuel knowing that like my, my family, my guys, you know, like is one of their last like chances to really do something special. So I think that like brings fuel to the team. Definitely. We'll go to uh, Jordan and then finish up with Palmer Toms. Juice Coach White talked about the preparation the, the last few days. What have you seen from yourself and your teammates getting ready for this LSU game? Uh, I feel like we're definitely locked in, you know, on the defensive end. I feel like we slipped in that area the last couple games. And um, I feel like we need to get back to doing that. And the offense is just going to come to us, you know. Yeah, you mentioned the zero and zero message that Coach White and the coaches have shared with you guys. How can you can you sense any sort of excitement about that? The the new life that comes with the being in the postseason amongst your teammates. Uh, yeah, definitely. We can. Uh, you know, it's been tough these last couple of games, but you know, tournament. Like I said, you know, zero zero new slate. So it feels uh, great to get a new slate. All right. Thanks, Juice. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys.